Your neighbors have shortcomings. Your husband or your wife is lukewarm. Your children, your grandchildren, are reluctant to accept Catholic faith. What is the true reason behind all these difficulties? Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria. St. Pius X had a holy secretary by the name of Cardinal Marie Delval. This virtuous man one day entered the office of St. Pius X and handed over to him a dossier containing names of those who would practice evil in the name of the Church. But St. Pius X picked up this dossier and handed to the Cardinal Marie Delval another dossier much more complete with the names of those who would practice evil in the name of the Church. Cardinal Marie Delval was bewildered, was awestruck, seeing that the Pope, knowing the evil that was being committed by these men, did not take action and asked the Holy Pope what was the true reason behind this attitude of his sanctity. And St. Pius X, with a smile on his face, answered him, My dear Cardinal, if you and I practice virtue and become saints, there are two less men in today's world who practice evil in the name of the Church. What St. Pius X was desiring to explain to Cardinal Marie del Val was that more important than transforming the whole universe, he wanted to first start off by converting himself and of Cardinal Marie del Val. After they had attained the pinnacle of sanctity, they could easily lead others towards heaven. Dear brethren, in today's liturgy, Wednesday of the 18th week in ordinary time, we come across in the first reading from the book of Numbers, where God appears to Moses and the Israelites in the desert of Pana and tells Moses the following, Send men to reconnoiter the land of Canaan, which I am giving the children of Israel. You shall send one man from each ancestral tribe, all of them princes. What was God's desire here on choosing princes to enter the promised land? Of course, he wanted them to scout the land to see which were its strategic points. But moreover, God desired that these men, these princes, would set the example and lead the people of Israel to the Holy Land. But unfortunately, things didn't work out this way. These men returned after 40 days of reconnoitering the Promised Land, telling them that indeed this land had milk and honey, but unfortunately, the people who there lived were the descendants of Anakim. They were giants. It was impossible for them to conquer this land. These princes did exactly the opposite that God desired them, desired of them. They were supposed to lead through the example, encourage them, give them confidence, remembering the miracles that God had worked amongst them. But on the contrary, these men were discouraging the people, instilling fear and mayhem in the, in, amongst the Israelites. In the Gospel reading, we come across our Lord Jesus Christ, who encounters the Canaanite woman, who if you can all recall the scene, this woman was literally pushed away by our Lord Jesus Christ, telling, the, telling her the following, it's not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. But this lady did not lose courage, but on the contrary, filled with confidence, filled with sympathy towards our Lord Jesus Christ, and moreover, with faith, continued insisting, saying, please Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus, looking at this faith of this woman, said to her, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. 
Here in today's liturgy, we have two examples, two models to follow. One, the model of the princes of the tribes of Israel, who did not set the example that God desired of them, and therefore condemning not only themselves, but the whole population of Israel, who had to spend 40 years in the desert because of this sin. On the other hand, in the Gospel, we have this Canaanite woman who, through her faith, through her insistence, conquers the cure for her daughter. Here lies a question for all of us in today's liturgy. Imagine a shipwreck when there's mayhem instilled in the atmosphere. Every man is trying to swim for his life and trying to stay afloat. He wish they see pieces of wood, log and, or even a barrel in the sea and they swim towards it hoping that these objects would help them stay alive, stay afloat. But imagine when a man swim to, swims towards a barrel, hugs the barrel, embraces the barrel, hoping that it will help him survive. But on the contrary, he encounters this barrel, this log, or this piece of object afloat, is worm ridden, rotten, and he gives away. Dear brothers and sisters, ask yourself this question. Of course, we have neighbors with their shortcomings. A husband or a wife might have their lukewarmness. Our children might not be so willing to follow the Catholic faith. But you being this barrel, this log, this piece of object afloat in today's world, are you not worm ridden? Are you not rotten inside? So that so when this person reaches out to help, seeking this good example to follow the Catholic faith, does not find the support that he searches for. Let us beseech Our Lady that she may help us be like her, setting example for all those who are around us. May the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Salve Maria. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.